Okay, this is where Barry usually does lots of announcements just for the offering. Um, one of sorry, lost my notes. <laughs> one of the things that uh, we need to do after worship today is we want to have a Bruce and I want to have a little meeting with the kitchen crew. And also, anybody who was interested in um, decorating, right? Okay. And uh, also, uh, anything else? Just those two groups, right? Decorating, kitchen. We're also going to um, discuss the Thanksgiving boxes, how many we need. If, if I have spoken to you and you're getting a Thanksgiving box, um, or even if I haven't spoken to you, please come to me if you need a Thanksgiving box. Those will be picked up next Sunday at worship. So they will be here at worship time, and you can pick them up. If you can't pick them up, and you can you send someone else to pick them up, if you can't do that, we'll figure out how to get it delivered to you. Um, Anybody who is in need or knows somebody in need, please see me after church today, after worship today, in just a little bit, and talk to me. Um, there's many of you that I that I thought of, that I talked to, and some said yes, and some said no, it was somebody else. So we don't know who's spending time with family, but it comes with a turkey, it comes with pie, it comes with mashed potatoes and stuff to make green bean casserole. It's a really nice box. Even if you can get it and share it with some people who need to spend Thanksgiving somewhere and you do the cooking, that would be great. We would love to do that for you guys. Um, okay. The other thing is that the angel tree, uh, where'd Terry go? She's in the back. Oh, she's in the back. <coughs> Terry, the, the, um, the forms that are up there for you to suggest children or, you know, if you know any children, 18 and under, who need, or 19, if they're still in school, that need help with Christmas gifts, single parents, children with no parents, children with both parents, it doesn't matter, just children who, <laughs> what, living with grandparents or master parents or whatever. If you know somebody, please fill out the form and give it to Terry. Terry's the one who fills out the little angel things. They'll be hanging on the cross, and then you can come and you can get them off the cross, and she'll tell you all about when they need to be back and, and all that stuff. And she gets them delivered, so she's so good about that. Terry's wonderful with that. Right, so, and that is... Not this next Sunday, but the next Sunday, correct? Yes. Buy that and do it early. So you have two weeks from today to, to, to um, you mean the presents have to be here by No, we have no. the name they by need, so we can make We sure need the nominations, we need the names by the 30th. So you still have two weeks to put somebody's name on there. And then there will be a deadline to return the gift. Okay. Karen has. Oh, sorry, Austin. Are you done today now with your food drive? Uh, it's going on through like this, like Thursday. I mean, yes. Okay. So, so the there's there is some food up there. I know because I brought one back in. Um, if, if you have Mo's contact or Austin's contact, and you want to get the food to them at his house, I guess you could still do it by Thursday, but. Next next Sunday would be too late. Yeah. Correct? Okay. Sandy, can we say even through Wednesday because we have service here Wednesday? That's night. true. Okay. If you want to bring, if you come to Wednesday night services and you want to bring food, Austin is the vice president of the student government and they're doing this food drive for Thanksgiving. To, I, you know, I, um, you know, I brought in mashed potatoes and cranberry and that kind of stuff. So if, anything that you can think of that would go along with the nice Thanksgiving meal. You know, even if it's just a couple of cans of pumpkin or something, bring it in. Austin's, Austin's student government is doing that. 
Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing in the way of stuff like this. I don't think so. Karen has an announcement that she wants to um, all of the Bible studies this week. There, did Barry set up for anybody to teach tonight? No, no. We are done with Bible studies Sunday nights until the start of the new year. But we still have Sunday morning at nine thirty. We have Wednesday night at seven, and we have Thursday morning at ten a.m. right here. Thank the you. Bible studies. Brought to you by. <laughs> <laughs> so. That you have, the Bible studies are normal except for um, <clears throat> Sunday night. This is one of those, those, I guess, for a while, until after the first of the year. I have no idea where Barry was on Sunday nights. Um, we're still doing Wednesday nights, though. That will continue. Right? So we're having chili dogs. Beans and Vino. And beans and Vino. You're going to up Vino? <laughs> okay. I eat it with that Vino. <laughs> Okay, so Karen, did you? Good morning. Um, my daughters are members of the Lake County 4-H Teen Leadership Council. It is actually a group of elected teenagers from the County 4-H clubs who are elected to lead all events and, and um, make policy and things for our 4-H clubs for the entire county. And Lady and Lexi are both on that uh, council, and we are throwing, they are throwing actually, a Christmas party for all the 4-H clubs, and it will be um, Monday the 1st of December, and we are looking for anybody who has, we're looking for any Christmas trees. If you pull your, if you pull your Christmas tree down and you're trying to think about it, and you look at it, and it's, you know, old bent, and it's not exactly what you want this year, or you have an extra one, you just... Left in the attic that yeah, you'll get to it later and the lights are all burnt out. We're looking for those trees. We're looking for Charlie Brown trees, we're looking for whatever kinds of uh, artificial Christmas trees that you are about to discard. Um, we are doing a winter wonderland theme and we don't care what shape they are or what they kind of look like. We're going to just throw them up there and maybe even spray some snow stuff on it to look like the snow. And we just need it to kind of fall in in our decoration. So it doesn't matter if you think it's broken and you were going to throw it out. We would love that because we've got duct tape. It's great paint to cover the duct tape and then we're just going to do some, you know, crazy stuff with it with snow. So anyway, we would love um, to have those donated. You can actually bring them on Wednesday night, bring them here or contact me. Um, I have some business cards for my business that I have business cards that have my phone number on them. If you have one, if you have one, come see me afterwards. I'll hand you my card. You can call me, and I will try to figure out how to get it from you if it's too difficult to be brought here. So we really appreciate that. Thank you. You need those um, I'd love to get them this week. Okay. This well, week it's early. on the December 1st. It's on December 1st. I'm sorry. We have already that day. So, so it's a couple weeks. Yeah. A couple weeks. Um, Bruce has done a, a really nice little short flyer that goes up on the fridge nice or in a purse nice or whatever. And it, 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 we have December coming up. Stuff just start happening. We have the church in December. We have the Nativity movie. We have the Lady Lake Parade. We have all kinds of things happening. You can get involved in. You can be a part of. If anybody wants to be part of the parade, it's coming up. So just be thinking about that. Um, but we're after one of these and take them home so you know what's happening. Because we don't do bulletins. But they're, they're right up there on the little table when you come in the door. So grab one, take it home. It has both Barry, mine and Barry's number on there. So if you need to call us, ask us questions, or make a comment. Also has a website on there now. Mm -hmm. has a website on there. Um, the website going great. I just want to say thank you to Lou for your homework. But we, uh, Pastor Barry and I and Lou got together last week and um, we took the website apart and put it back together. And it's got some really excellent photos on it now. Thank you, brother. Good work. Um, we kind of streamlined it a little bit, okay? And uh, trying to give it a little bit fresh, a little bit more of a fresh look. Um, every year or two, you kind of have to do that, okay? Because if you don't, people stop looking at it because, oh, I read that book, okay? <coughs> So just really good work with Lou and Pastor Barry. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to go out there and take a look at it, Choice Sermon will be up probably middle of this week if you know, nothing goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs>
Can you share that with us? I, um, Lou and Lydia are just, we really lapsed in our photography and our pictures. We didn't have any real new stuff because he was taking phenomenal pictures, you know, for us, photos for us. He's doing it again. Praise the Lord. Anyway, so um, we're just really happy to have you around. <laughs> we love you. Um, I, I want to thank Troy again so much. Let's like give Troy a hand. Let's <laughs> Just put that praise up to the Lord. Amen. The Holy Spirit did Amen. And um, God, He just, He does such a good job. I know you must spend a lot of time putting your words and all that and stuff, but uh, God just blesses Him. I, I would ask for, I really want to ask, I solicit your prayers for Chase, my son, and his wife Krista there, her dad, the one that we were talking about last week that had been on the ship and stuff, he passed away Friday. And um, her mom got in last night about midnight. Uh, I haven't talked to them yet this morning, so I know that was going to be very emotional because they've been separated. She's been in Shanghai all this time. She was coming in last night. Stan's um, body will be coming in around Tuesday or Wednesday. They still have a lot. He is a pastor of a church plant just like this. Uh, they, there needs to be a lot of prayer comfort for these people. They have, they've just got the rug really snatched out from them. Not just the family, but the church family. And they, they just really need a lot of prayer that the Lord will um, um, just be with them and, and help them help them get through this, but then also find someone to replace this man. He was... He was pretty special. He really was. He was he was the anchor to that family. He has been really good to chase um, as a man. A good example to him, and, and just really good to him. It's, it's been hard on. It's been hard on them. So just just pray for them. And I'm very excited because I know where he is. But it's so hard on everybody left behind, especially when he has that much responsibility and that many people depending on him. So you know. It's just hard. So pray for pray for all of them. And um, it's time to take up our offering. Yeah. Lord, we just thank you so much for this time to be together. And we ask that you would bless um, the tithes and offerings to do your work. And that you would bless those back who are, who are giving their tithe, Lord. And we just thank you for them. And um, we just ask that you would continue to protect this church family and uh, help us to continue to do your work in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen.
closing prayer today. Lord, we just thank you for this time. We thank you for the message you gave us today. Lord, for speaking through one of your servants. Lord, we pray as we go out the halls of this sanctuary, Lord, as the church body, to give us opportunities to witness to your glory. Give us those opportunities. Let us see those opportunities to glorify your name to others who might not know you. Lord, I pray as we go out, we're also a blessing to our own families. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Have a great week. Come back and see us next time.